As a faculty member at the Farmers Trial College and a presenter at the American Board of Trial Advocates Masters at Trial, you've been recognized for your expertise in trial practice. What advice would you offer to young trial attorneys or aspiring lawyers who aim to excel in this field? It's simple. Try as many cases as you can as soon as you can. Uh, you know, there's just no substitute for actual experience. A lot of young attorneys are intimidated uh, uh, by trial. and Maybe they find reasons uh, to settle a case uh, because they're worried about, you know, what might happen at trial. Now, the backdrop to all this is you have to do what's best for your client. You know, a lot of times our clients, what matters most to them is that they have an advocate. They have someone on their side who's willing to go to the mat for them. And if the opposing side never gets reasonable uh, with an offer, if they're always trying to lowball you, trying to take advantage, uh, you know, of the costs associated with going to trial, risks associated with going to trial, find a way to go to trial. And the more you do it, the better you're going to become. You know, you are not going to become an excellent trial attorney without trying cases. So even if you don't have an opportunity to, to try a lot of cases when you're just starting out, you know, in our practice, there's something called mandatory arbitration. And those are like little mini trials. And so when you have a mandatory arbitration, rather than just, you know, uh, putting the basic case on, uh, you know, see that as an opportunity to sharpen your oral advocacy skills. You know, if you got a case, maybe there's a liability dispute. Maybe there's a word-on-word -word dispute about, you know, who had the right of way. Rather than shying away from that, just dive right in, right? Think about ways to, to optimize your case. You know, you might want to involve uh, some tech, which you can, uh, you know, very affordably uh, uh, harness uh, to your benefit. Uh, you certainly want to uh, depose the opposing side with uh, with, strat uh, with a strategic mindset. Uh, and you want to prepare for these uh, mandatory arbitrations uh, as if there are many trials and uh, put on the very best case you can. And then you're going to gain confidence and experience that will uh, prepare you uh, ultimately for trial. Your background as a pro tem substitute judge adds an interesting dimension to your legal career. How has this experience shaped your understanding of the legal system and influenced your approach to advocacy? Yeah, so I served as a pro tem judge, which is basically a substitute judge. When a judge is sick or goes on vacation uh, and the courts need an experienced uh, attorney to, to serve as a judge, I've done that. Uh, what I've realized through that experience is you know, judges have huge caseloads that they have to manage. They need to, to move cases along. They don't want their staff and themselves to have to be uh, there after hours. Uh, and so what I took away from that experience is if you've got a hearing in front of a judge, uh, cut to the chase, right? You don't need to uh, spend five minutes with introductory remarks that don't add anything to uh, uh, the issue. Lead off with your strongest argument uh, state it simply, cite the authority, uh, and uh, assume that the judge has read the materials uh, and knows the law better than you do. Uh, and uh, keep it simple, uh, make a strong case, be prepared because often uh, the judge will ask follow-up questions. And if you're not prepared to answer those, it's not going to go so well.